I was only in the capital city, which is in Mongolian, pronounced Otlan Batir. And uh, I was there because I had to teach English there at a university, so I taught only in the city. But I served in three areas. And in the city, well, missionaries are really spoiled. You'll never have to live in the boonies in the outskirts and have to chop your own wood or anything like that. So you have the city, you have apartment buildings um, in the center of the city, outskirts of the city is Gare District. Uh, poverty people have to pull their water, they get it from a well, pull it to their house. Um, some areas are very, they have a lot of hills, geography, some areas are flatter. Um, Alambatar is surrounded by mountains, I think on three sides, I'm not exactly sure though. And so, um, because it, it, people live in the Gare districts, uh, they are constantly burning coal, and uh, the coal dust will rise and stay in the mountains, and because it's so cold, it never uh, escapes and there's no wind because of the mountains. And so I don't know if it is the most uh, polluted city in the world, but I would I would say it's t probably in the top 10. I could probably say that almost pretty confidently. I don't know, maybe not. It seemed like it. there's a very, very cold, dusty. Um, we had to wear masks as missionaries um, to go outside. And uh, it, during the winter, this is just during the winter, the winter is very cold. Uh, it's um, sometimes, I think the coldest day I went out was negative 40, something like that. And uh, it's just a cold place in the wintertime. In the summertime, it's paradise because it, it's not too hot. It's not too hot, but it's hot enough that you don't have to go out with a sweater or anything. You can just be perfectly fine, even sweat a little bit. It's not hot at all, but it's not too hot. And um, in the wintertime, you do have to wear layers. You can get a nice coat. I got some nice gloves in Mongolia. Um, I would say get all your gear in Mongolia, don't buy it here because um, it's a lot cheaper and better made in Mongolia. So don't worry about it. Plus, um, previously, previous missionaries can give you their stuff and it's no big deal. Um, so that's the layout. People will live in apartments and there they have um, a lot nicer things like running water. But in the, in the Gare districts and outside of the city in the countryside, people will pull water from wells and get water and things like that. But I would say significantly, even in the countryside, everyone has electricity. Even right in the middle of nowhere, people still have like a satellite dish on their gear and can watch TV. And uh, I guess that's the layout of the city. So transportation. We got around by bus and by walking, and there was another form of transportation. It's like a, it's called a meeker. It's just like a van that people will uh, call. They go to a bus stop. You just get on them at bus stops, and they'll take you out to the farther spots, not so much like uh, like buses. And um, you can get anywhere by a bus or by a meeker, at least where you need to go as missionary. Uh, and by walking, the, some of the areas have a lot of hills, some of them are really flat, like I said before. So, you'll do a lot of walking on your mission, a ton of walking. And uh, there's one area that is completely city, there's not any Gare district in it, and there's only one of those areas. Um, let's see, crime. I felt 100% safe my whole mission. I think a lot of missionaries do, even in unsafe areas. But I really honestly felt like Mongolia is not a dangerous place. Um, there are drunk people, there are drunk men everywhere. Um, however, despite that, I never felt unsafe. Um, I never felt like that. There was always people around. Um, I never saw, well, I saw a couple fights of like drunk people beating each other up outside of a bar, but it wasn't like, um, that wasn't common to see people fighting. People are just not ag super aggressive. Um, so there wasn't crime. I never, we never had any instances 
Um, well, at least I never had any instances of people st uh, stealing things. It's what do you what do you call that? Being mugged. I was never mugged. I think there was one missionary I knew who was mugged twice in an area that was just an unsafe area. So they said no missionaries are allowed there currently. Other than that, I haven't heard of anything like that. No, no guns. Guns aren't allowed there. <clears throat> um, nobody in the country is allowed to have a gun. And um, people won't like pull out a knife. It's not a dangerous country at all. But I would say the biggest business, like the most common thing that men will do is um, architecture and uh, just building because the city is just growing super rapidly. Uh, the, most of the men will either be doing construction work or mining work because of the coal industry. So mining and construction are the biggest uh, businesses currently in Mongolia. There's not really a foreign wave coming in. It's just people from the countryside. <clears throat> Because 20 years ago, that's why the church first got in. 20 years ago, um, Russia was, uh, well, in control of uh, Mongolia as a, it was communist and it was like overseeing Mongolia. And that's why Mongolia got like severe drinking issues was from the Russian influence. A lot of the buildings in the city are like Russian made 20 years ago. And then, so they finally kicked out the Russians. They were able to kick them out. They declared like independence from Russia uh, 20 years ago. And then the church was able to come in uh, out of the communist um, way. And that is why, let's see, that's why all the people started coming to the city because in the countryside is a very difficult living. It's cold. You're working with... Um, herds of herds and herds of animals it's very difficult um it's very competitive and um you are constantly being braided by things like famine and like rainfall things like that that you don't have control over so people will come to the city expecting like a better life for their children and they'll sell all their livestock and they will come to the city and live in the in the care districts and it's just really really sad because in the city they really don't have a lot of opportunity maybe their children can go to school and be educated and then their children will have more opportunity but for a couple of generations it's going to be really hard for those people and that is why the country is growing even until now even now people are still selling all their livestock and coming to mongolia um, so it's not coming from china or russia or any other country Although there are a few foreign people who come to study or work, but it's very few. Mostly Mongolians just coming in from the outskirts of, to the city. So food is ex food is cheap. Food is cheap. Um, clothing is cheap. Electronic things are very expensive. Um, there's some things that are just super expensive over there, very cheap here. And... Um, Let's see, the one dollar is, when I was there, about 1,700 Tugruks, which is the Mongolian currency, Tugruk. So 1,700. Um, it probably now is 1,800, 1,800 because it's hyperinflation right now. It's just inflation from, it went up about 100 Tugruks in the year and a half that I was there the inflation and <clears throat> so just look up what the currency exchange rate is now food i could say i would say so one dumpling we keep talking about dumplings you'll have millions of these on your mission so that one dumpling is about 600 to groups which is approximately 30 cents and um that's probably the cheapest thing you can buy that will fill you up the most you get three of those that's like a dollar and you'll be full. And then, so that is cheap. Um, clothing is cheap. I got warm gloves. I only bought one pair of gloves my whole mission. They kept me warm. And they were about 5,000 tukruks, which is about, I don't know, 250. Um, and boots were like 50,000, which is like, 
$25 for boots that kept me warm all winter. Um, and comfortable, lightweight, no issues with them. They're, uh, they're cheap, just, just ask the right, ask people where's the cheapest, best quality of stuff you can get. And you can buy things very cheap there. You can find souvenirs for very cheap. And they've got markets everywhere, just buy things if you're interested in that.